Now I'm just going to organize the information from that analysis into an ANOVA table. So for the treatment, I have two degrees of freedom with sums of squares of 801, mean square of 400. For error, 33, 16, 22, 49 and then an F value of 8.15 and a P value of 0 0.0013. This is just organizing the data that we had from our calculator into an ANOVA table. Okay, now to get to the honestly significant difference analysis. So the first thing we'll do is take the absolute value of differences between each pair of sample means and the previous video we calculated the mean for group 3 to be 24.42 and although I didn't show it on that video the mean for group A was 21.08 and the mean for group B was 32.33 but anyway we get the absolute value of the difference between each pair of means so A and B differ by 11.25 A and C differ by 3.34 and B and C differ by 7.91 so the HSD tell us how far apart two sample means have to be before we can conclude that the corresponding population means are different. So we'll just take Q. You'll have to use the Q table. Degrees of freedom will be 3, that's K, and 33, the same as our error term. So at 3 and 33 degrees of freedom, we'll get 3.48 for Q. Then take MSE, which is 49.17, there it is, divide by the size of each group, and we had 12 individuals in each group in our data set. What we conclude now is that the mean for group B is greater than A because 32.33 is bigger than 21.08, and 11.25 is bigger than our 7.07. .07. For the next one, 3.34, for the next one where we have 3.34, which is not greater than 7.07, .07, therefore we conclude that there may not be a difference between those two population means, so mu A could equal mu C. Then going down to B and C, we see that 7.91 is larger than our cutoff of 7.07, .07, so we'll conclude that mu B is greater than mu C.